I was gonna intro the clip. Jason was supposed to intro the clip, but he's too busy doing a crossword doing puzzle. A, it's really tough. I've gotten, if you can zoom in, I've gotten four of them. Does it do anything? Does it tell you anything about East and West and win totals on that? No, we're just skipping that. I just said that clip sucks. <laughs> we're doing top goal scorers. Does it tell you anything about top goal scorers on that crossword puzzle? No, but this graphic will. Oh, here I, we have. I like, to ask, I like to ask you, sorry to cut you off. No. I like to ask you this morning, I go like, is it like 10 to 1, 9 to 1, 6 to 1? Or like, what does 6 mean? Six goals? <laughs> Three goals? So, of course, and I will explain to those. That of course. It's, an, it's, it's, an obvious, it's not an obvious, obvious answer. Some people get a little troubled by the betting system in the United Kingdom. Of course. So, yes, Harry Kane, according to Paddy Power, uh, Bet Fred, Ladbrokes, Coral, Bet365, nah, because Ray Winston's the one that does that and they yeah. all said that. Uh, Bet Victor, Sky Bet. Bet Fair uh, is the favorite to be the top goal scorer in the 2017-18 Premier League season. Uh, three to one. That seems to be like the pretty. Uh, yeah, I'm using Paddy Power for this. Paddy Power is not bad. It's the closest to the name. So I <laughs> cannot argue with that. Not a lot of moving pieces have changed in Tottenham's front line. Harry Kane is a born natural goal scorer. They're not getting rid of Dele Ali or Eriksen or any of the pieces that help make him great. They just got rid of Kyle Walker. Uh, however, Romelu Lukaku is going to be a stern contender for them. I told you this beforehand. I said, don't throw my fandom in my face when I'm just telling you what I think. Uh, we saw how much Zlatan was able to thrive in that system of just being the go-to striker in the box. And Zlatan's ego takes him outside the box sometimes. It takes him away to go and draw into the ball, which is fine for him. But Romelu Lukaku has not... Uh, reached that level, I don't think, of his ego overtaking a lot of things, and he just likes to get into the box and score goals. He is prone to coming a little deeper, holding up the ball. But I think in that league. system, we've already seen it briefly in the friendlies, which are just friendlies, but he looks like he is well equipped in that lineup. So I would think that he's, if he doesn't get more than 20 uh, this season, 22, 23, 24, then I don't think it's a good return on the investment. He is, you're not giving him the same leeway you would someone coming in from another league. Zlatan. He's pretty, Zlatan should have been given some leeway, but he wasn't, and he still lived up to the expectation. Lukaku has done it uh, consistently for Everton, and we are undoubtedly expecting him to do the same thing for United. Uh, Zlatan does not get leeway. Leeway is offered. Leeway, leeway is offered to Zlatan. Zlatan. Uh, uh, 20, uh, 47 down. I'm not. Uh, I, I can't do this. Uh, Give me 10, ten letter ten letter word for the little P. Hernandez. Uh, there you go. Now I got you. Chichur Back to the list. Chicharito is what I was thinking. Uh, I don't know if Hernandez fits. I don't even do the math. Regardless, the list is he's 25 to 1. And you want to find value in this. And so, yeah, what is most likely to happen? Aguero, Lukaku, Morata, and Kane, of course, they get top goal scorer. But who the hell knows? Maybe they all don't score more than like 22 goals and Chicharito somehow sneaks in with a couple hat tricks against some of the lower level, lower, uh, lower level leveled teams of the Premier League. Mm -hmm. And he's a hammer, isn't he? Yes, he is. A West Ham hammer. Um, the ham is going to score lots of goals uh, with Chicharito. I think they're just going to score more Ham goals. with peas, some would say. Ham with peas. Plus, their starting 11 isn't that bad top to bottom. Team. Like, they're, uh, they should make top eight. It's, uh, it's going to be, it's, last year was a shock to the system after the previous year where they were definitely very good and Pae was firing all cylinders and then he cried and left. Mm. And they had to adjust and they had some problems. But uh, Chicharito is a great signing for West Ham. Uh, and I tell you, I'll tell you why. Uh, one of our uh, TYT employees, Malcolm, who's definitely Ooh. a great employee, he's a big fan yeah. of the Hammers. And so to be definitely. fair to him, he's not just a bandwagon fan, like he actually does know a lot about the team and he's a huge fan. And the reason why I think that Chicharito is a great fit and I've made this point on the show before, Chicharito is a best fit as a bridesmaid, not a bride. That doesn't mean that he doesn't play the star man up top. I mean it with the team he goes to. I think he gets overwhelmed when he's thrown into the big pond of Real Madrid, Manchester United and expected to lead the line. I think he does better flying under the radar for a Bayer Leverkusen and a West Ham. And I think that West Ham is a perfect fit to allow him, who in my opinion has some of the best off the ball movement that you'll ever see in a striker, mm. uh, to, to thrive and bang in some goals. I don't expect him to be top goal scorer, but I don't think he's, a, he's not a bad outside bet for maybe 15, 16 goals this season, um, which Whoa. is still not a bad return no, for a, a player the league, the and I'm praying the rest of the league gets injured. <laughs> maybe so. Can I see the list again one more time? See yeah, uh, Lacazette, if it does, I was gonna say because he's 12 to one, and, and my reasoning for this is, um, if he does turn out to be Arsenal's savior, 
Well, he's gonna score a lot of effing goals. Yes, he's got to. Um, Lacazette is, a, is another one Why who I put so right hard? there with a low, with. He's different than Lukaku because he's got the he's got the. The, the breathing space, I think, to try and at least get into it. Arsenal fans will be expecting an immediate return, but he's not Olivier Giroud. He's another guy who's good in the... Uh, he's got a great finish on him. He works well within a system that allows him to be the finishing point and not so much working to try and get the ball into the attacking third and into the box. He's not going to drop too deep. Uh, so I think he could be a good player, similar to Morata. I'm surprised that Aguero and Gabriel Jesus are right there next to each other because for me, I think one of them is going to excel this season with the other one taking almost a second string role. Interesting. Uh, yes. And obviously my go-to says, and case studies of the last, what, five Premier League seasons would lead me to believe that it's going to be Aguero. But Jesus is a promising player. Um, and if he shows early signs of being that striker they need, I would see Aguero falling away or vice versa. Um, it's rare that you have two goal scorers in the Premier League nowadays that bang in goals together. Like this isn't the Andy Cole, Dwight York days. This is now that you have a front man who plays in a system of 4-5-1 or a 4-3-2-1. Dwight York, probably not from France, but could be. Um, no. Where is he from? He was from is Trinidad and Tobago, I believe. Uh, Andy Cole was an Eng English striker. Eng English, okay. But he was, uh, the two of them were English so striker. good together up top. What's that? He's a very famous English striker. Yeah, and he gets the ball, he scores a goal. Andy, Andy, Andy Cole. Ah, interesting. It's a song. Uh, uh -huh. And who else did we miss out there? By Diego Costa, four still on the letter, list. Four letter word for uh, in your stockings, but football. Cool. Ah. Mm. Jason is being completely consumed by the cross world. The cross world world. I've uh, only gotten I don't four. Think he's getting out of it anytime soon. Do you know what I did? I was telling Brett Ehrlich like this. Uh, I was playing. Uh, I was playing League of Legends last night. It's a very, very nerdy computer game, uh, and I was in typing into the chat the Thursday crossword clues, trying to get answers, and people actually were responding. <laughs> they were like, "They're like, oh, it's Doctor Six Hundred Doctor." Like, wow, thank you so. As soon as you started that conversation, I immediately was the meme of the game. I have a. Life. Is that what I just had? Um, Comment below, I guess. Well, if you want to see the list, five-letter word for the savior, except to Jews, not to Jews. Gabriel Jesus. <laughs> Why is he so high on the list? I'm curious. Yeah, that is very, it's not exactly, you've not been given all the examples to make you believe it. I can't if Diego answer. Costa actually stays at Chelsea, then it's an insult that he's that low. But I guess they're putting him there because they don't know whether he's going to stay. Uh, which is still not the best bet. If you put that money on him and he leaves, surely you get your money back. Uh, who else are we missing? Rashford, mm. Mm, second string to Lukaku. Like, he will start a lot of games. He'll bang in maybe 10, 15. If you're lucky, Daniel Sturridge, if he's fit, same thing. Um, so, yeah, I think that's pretty fair and balanced. I don't imagine that it's... <laughs> it's Fox News. Yeah, I don't, it doesn't seem to be too disproportionately cited. Uh, <laughs> and my money would probably still be on Harry Kane. It's fair and balanced. It's Fox News. <laughs> that's what you said. I think Jason's lost. In this world. Oh, no, Come it's just, back. It's just a good Friday. We had pinches tacos. Read him a clue. Don't ruin my crossword.